What if I told you, you could get the look of a Hollywood film and get Premiere to actually do it for you? That sounds like a dream, right? Well, buckle up, we're headed to Hollywood land. Now, before I reveal this secret, it's important that you get your footage to a good base correction like I've done here in Lometri. The films that we're gonna be matching the look of are from Moonlight, No Country for Old Men, and finally, this amazing sunset from Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith. Now, a key component to making all this work is choosing scenes with a similar context in terms of lighting and art direction. Here I have three shots, a couple on vacation in the middle of the desert, a family running down a beach towards the sunset, and a guy standing in the middle of a dark warehouse. As you can see, these look similar in context to our reference frames. So after importing these Hollywood frames into Premiere, I'll position them right next to my shots. Let's try first with the guy in the warehouse. I'll add a new instance of Lometri and go to the color wheels and match section. Here I can enable the comparison viewer, which lets me see a side-by-side -side comparison of the current clip on the right side and any other clip in the timeline on the left side. I'll use this playhead to find the image we want to use as a reference. Then I just have to click on apply match and wait a few seconds. And voila, before and after. It does a great job adding the greenish tint from the reference, but not as much in terms of contrast. But no worries, inside the same instance of Lometri, let's go to the curve section and create an S curve to add the weight that is missing. And that's it. Here's the final before and after. That's amazing, right? Although these images have some similarities, i.e. one has a bright background, the other a dark one, they now share the same color palette and contrast. With this, we went from dull to cinematic in only seconds. Now let's try the couple in the desert. We'll follow the same procedure, locating the reference from No Country for Old Men, and hit match. Right away, it adds the same color palette and contrast as the reference still. This time, the contrast is on point. We see the same yellowish tint in the clothing, but the sky is off a bit. Well, why is that? Well, our shot has a blue sky, and Premiere is looking at the blue jeans in our reference shot. So based on that, it's deciding to keep the blue. But I think we can do better. So we'll add a new instance of Lometri, use a qualifier to isolate the sky, add some yellow tint to it, and bring down the saturation. Now, although it's not a plain vanilla white sky like the reference, it does feel closer in terms of look. Let's see the before and after. Looks fantastic. On to our third example. We have a family running towards the sunset. We'll put it side by side with the sunset from Star Wars in the comparison, hit match, and bon appetit, a perfect match. The contrast is the same, same with the color palette, and we're even getting these soft purplish hues in the shadows. Let's see the before and after. Amazing that you can do all of this just inside of Premiere. Now, you may be asking, what good is all of this if my shots aren't similar enough in context to the film I'm using as a reference? That's a fair question, but you see, once you follow this procedure, you can save this instance of Lometri containing the look as a preset that you can then apply to a totally different scene. For example, I'll save the look we created based on Moonlight and apply it to this exterior scene where two cops are about to face off with a criminal. Boom, look at the before and after. Now let's try the look from the sunset scene. It's a bit too strong, but if we lower the opacity of the adjustment layer containing the look, we can dial it back to where it fits perfectly. Now, to tell you the truth, we're really just tricking Lumetri to work in our favor, but the rest of the color tools can be intimidating. They're based on wheels and curves, designs that go back 20 years, and there's not really a proper grading workflow with Lumetri. 
there has to be an easier modern way that's less confusing. Something that makes getting a professional look in seconds without muddy looking video. That's why we created Cinema Grade as a straightforward way that guides you every step of the way through the whole grading process of fixing shots, matching them together, and applying a final look to groups of clips in a batch way, saving you countless hours of work. It's easy and intuitive without a steep learning curve, and it lets you do point and click grading in the viewer and Premiere for both Mac and Windows. If this is something that you're into and you'd like to give it a try, just click the link below in the description and if you decide to purchase, you can get 20% off at checkout using the YouTube special code YouTube20. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and then the bell to be notified of our next one. I'll see you in the next video. Let's make cinema quality video.